a boat covers certain distance downstream in two hours and it covers the same distance upstream in two and a half hours. The speed of the boat in still water is 18 km per hour. Find the speed of the water. Also find the distance covered by the boat. All right. So let's understand what is the meaning of downstream and upstream first. Suppose we have a stream here, like river, river is flowing in this direction, okay. So when the boat is going in the same direction as the river is, so we say downstream. This is our boat, river is going in this direction, boat is also going in this direction, we say we are going downstream, okay. Now also it can happen like we, 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 would, we would go from this place to say this place and then we want to go back. Now in this case, what is uh, happening? Our boat is traveling upstream. Oh, this is a beautiful boat, <laughs> like moon. Huh? Okay, boat is going upstream, means in this direction, whereas the stream is still in the same direction. So now you can figure out when I'm going against the stream, against the water, so my speed will be slow. The speed of boat should be far more than the speed of uh, water. What we are asked, find the speed of water, also find the distance covered. So speed of water, we can assume to be X. So what we say is, please write also together. Let a speed of water be X, because everything we are talking in terms of kilometer an hour, so let's say kilometer per hour. So the speed of water is X kilometer per hour. What else we were given? I'll show you a question again. Here we are. So we were, we, we were given a boat covers certain distance downstream in two hours. It covers the same distance upstream in two and a half hours. And the speed of the boat in the still water is 18 kilometer per hour. Okay, so let's take that. Uh, speed of speed of boat in still water in still water it's given 18 kilometer per hour if water is not moving water is still then the speed of boat is 18 kilometer per hour what will happen if water is also moving then we will have two situation when the we are rowing the bow uh, we are, we are rowing the boat in the direction of a stream so we we say speed downstream speed downstream that would be speed of the stream stream means water right speed of the water will be added so it will be 18 plus x kilometer per hour. In one hour, it will go 18 plus x kilometer. And uh, can we find the speed upstream also? Yes, that also we will need speed upstream. So the speed upstream would be 18 minus x kilometer per hour. And the question said, it covers certain distance. It covers cert certain distance upstream in two and a half hours and downstream in two hours. So what we are saying is whatever distance it has covered downstream, the same distance we started from this point, we reached here. And the same to, from this place again, we started back and we reached here, okay? So the distance is same in both the cases, but time is different and also speed is different. If you recall, uh, there is a relation between distance, speed, and time. You know that distance is equal to, very easy to understand formula, distance is equal to speed into time. Speed into time, this is always right. Suppose you are going with a speed of 20 km per hour. In one hour, you will go 20. In two hour, you'll go 20 into two. In three hour, you'll go 20 into three, blah, 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 yes. That's how we find the distance, how many hours distance we'll cover. So we will find the distance for covered upstream and distance covered downstream. And the both distance we will equate and we get the answer. We get a 
So what we are saying is distance equal to speed into time. And now my speed upstream and downstream and time upstream and downstream both is known. So time taken downstream is two hours. That is given in question. And time taken upstream is two and a half hours. That's what they said. Oh, I hope you are understanding. So I'll show you the question again here. Two and a half hour upstream, two hour downstream. Okay. So that we will use now. So what we are going to do is we are going to use that distance with speed in time. It is uh, for downstream 18 plus X and a distance. This is speed into time is two is equal to 18 minus X is the speed and time is two and a half. You know how much is two and a half? Two and a half means five by two. So let us write five by two. Now this is a very simple linear equation which we would like to simplify. First of all, we see there is two in denominator so we multiply whole equation by two. So what will this give me? Two into two which becomes four. So 18 plus x into four. And when you multiply this by two, you get 18 minus x into five. Now open the bracket, 18 four j plus four x, 18 five j minus five x. Can we now transport x to one side and numbers to one side? It will become 4x plus 5x is equal to 90 minus 72. See, 9x is equal to 90 minus 72 should be 18. So how much is x? x is 18 by 9 is equal to 2 kilometer per hour. So we were asked the speed of water and we got it 2 kilometer per hour. On stream speed will be 18 plus 2, which will be 20 kilometer per hour. And in two hour, how much distance it covers? 20 into two, 40 kilometer. Okay. And the upstream speed would be because 18 minus two, X minus two, uh, 18 minus X it was, you know, which is 16 kilometer per hour. And how much time, uh, how much distance it covers? 16 into time was five by two. So again, 40 kilometers. Okay, so the distance covered in both cases is same, 40 kilometer, 40 kilometer. Distance covered by what? Forty kilometers. 